Another core concept of interest is that increasing compounding frequency will increase the rate at which your money grows. Let's just quickly jump into an example so I can show you exactly what I mean. Let's say we opened a savings account with $1,000. The APR is 20%. Calculate the balance at the end of the year if your money is compounded annually, quarterly, monthly, and daily. Whenever you're working with APRs or annual percentage rates, it's always important to know the compounding frequency because it'll change the amount at which your money grows. So let's flip over to exa our example and give it a go. In your spreadsheet, navigate to the compounding frequency tab. Our first step is to calculate the interest per period, which is just simply the APR divided by the number of periods in a given year. To do this, we just type equals, choose our APR, I'm gonna lock our reference here, and divide it by the number of compounding periods per year. Hit enter, we can see that this is just 20, which makes sense because if we only compound once per year, then our interest per period is simply our APR. For quarterly, it's a little bit different though. I typed equals 20%, gonna lock the reference again, divided by four. Hit enter, and now we see that our interest per period is actually 5%. So now every period with quarterly compounding, we are earning 5% interest in each period. However, that's done four times throughout the course of a year. Let's just use the fill handle to click and drag it down. And we can see that we get 1.67% with monthly compounding and 0.05% for daily compounding. Okay, our next step is to use the future value formula to calculate the account balance at the end of year one. So let's type equals FV for future value. Choose our interest per period as our rate, our number of periods as just one because we're only looking for the balance at the end of year one, then no payment because there's no reoccurring payment, and then the present value of our money. But remember, since we're putting money into the bank, it's actually a cash outflow. So we wanna make sure that we have a negative here before we make the sell reference to our $1,000 and then go ahead and lock that as well. When we hit enter, we see that Excel returns $1,200, which makes sense because it's just 20% times $1,000, which is $1,200. However, for our other compounding frequencies, things are gonna be a little bit different. If we use the fill handle to click and drag this down, we see that for the quarterly compounding, we get 1,215. For the monthly, we get 1,219. And the daily, we get 1,221. So even though your APR is the same, which is 20%, your compounding frequency will dramatically affect the way in which your money grows. So if you ever open a savings account or take out any type of loan, if they quote you in an APR, always ask how frequently does this compound? This will be an important question when you're trying to figure out how much you will actually owe in the future.